Good morning Key Sage 1 and welcome to your day 5 of your week 6 of your phonics reading for children who have completed their set 2 and their set 3 phonics sounds. To start the lesson we have a retrieval quiz which can be found on the website and this one is on how well do you know the book The Stone Age. Pause the video and good luck with the quiz. Let's see what you will be learning about today then. So in today's lesson you are going to demonstrate your understanding of what you have read. So can you discuss what you have read? Can you talk about the book? Can you also use key vocabulary when you're talking about the book? And can you even label pictures using key vocabulary? So using your writing skills for the last one. But again, before we move on to the main task, you need to make sure that the book is fresh in your head. So pause the video and read the book, including your speed sounds, your green words, your red words and your vocabulary words. With your speedy green words, you can practice with an adult and see if you can beat them with your speedy green words. Or if you want to, you can read them by yourself and you can set yourself a challenge of how quick you can read them. Pause the video and practice your speedy green words. So let's see if we can summarise what the book was about. So can you discuss with an adult, what was it about? You can use these sentence stems to help you develop your sentences when you are answering. This book was about. I learnt that. I found something interesting because. Life in the Stone Age is different to life now because. Pause the video and tell a grown up what the book was about. So let's look at our activity for today and there are lots of different options for how you can challenge yourself. The mild activity is to discuss the pictures. See if you can remember what is happening in these pictures. What information does it tell you about the Stone Age? Then the medium activity is use key vocabulary words. So using the key vocabulary check words in your answers. So when you're describing the picture and what it shows, are there any of the key words that you can use when you are discussing the pictures? Then the hot challenge is to label the pictures trying to get in key vocabulary from the book. Then there's an extra inferno challenge. So if you really want to challenge yourself, you can write in full sentences to label what the pictures are showing you. So I just want to quickly recap what the different activities are. So the mild one, you're just talking about the pictures. So for example, if we look at this picture, you can say that the man, the Stone Age man, is hunting. If you want to try it with the key vocabulary, the medium activity, the Stone Age man is hunting antelope. If you want to move on to the next level, onto the hot task, you can label it. And I need to make sure I'm using some of my key vocabulary, antelope. Make sure I'm copying the vocabulary and spelling it correctly. Antelope. Or if I really wanted to challenge myself, I could try and write a sentence about the picture. 
Stone Age people hunted antelope. And that's a different level of challenge. So good luck with your task and then come back and join me when you are ready for your spelling test. A quick plenary then to end this part of the lesson and we have a discussion question. So your discussion question is would you like to have lived in the Stone Age? Why or why not? And we can use the sentence starters to help us. I would have liked to live in the Stone Age because or I wouldn't have liked to live in the Stone Age because. Pause the video now and have a quick chat with your grown up. Today you also have an optional activity and you don't have to do this one, it's just there if you would like to. So your optional activity is to make your own Stone Age jewellery or artwork using items you have at home. So we won't have animal teeth lying around at home to make the jewellery with, but maybe you could make a Stone Age necklace out of pasta and paint it with all of the colours that they used. Let's reflect on today's lesson then. So today you are demonstrating your understanding of what you had read. Could you discuss what you had read? Could you talk about the pictures? Could you also use key vocabulary when talking about the pictures? And could you even label pictures using that key vocabulary? Well done for today's lesson. On to our spelling test today then and these are the words that you are going to be tested on. So get yourself a pencil and a piece of paper and show me you are ready for your spelling test. Your spelling for today is number one is beach. I went to the beach when it was sunny. Your word is beach. See if you can sound it out using your fingers. Write it down if you can remember all of the sounds in it. Number two is spade. I had a bucket and a spade. The word is spade. Number three, the word is close. Don't go too close to the water. The word is close. Number four is kite. On a windy day, I like to fly my kite. The word is kite. Now number five is a red word. So remember you can't thread a red. The word is water. The sea. Water. The word is water. Number six, again another red word and you can't thread a red. The word is watch. Watch where you are going. The word is watch. Super job. When you've written down all of your spellings, make sure you get ready to tick or fix your answers. Let's go through our answers then. So the first word was beach. B. E. Ch. Beach. 
and with the sound buttons f e ch beach the next word was fade f a Fade and with our sound buttons F A D Fade Number three was close K O O Close and our sound buttons k o o close number 4 was kite k i t kite and the sound buttons k I t kite. On to our red words then. You can't thread a red, so I'll say letter names. The word was water. W A T E R water. And the last word was watch. Again, you can't thread a red, so I will say letter names. W A T C H Watch Great job with your spelling test. Remember to tick or fix your work. And here are your new spellings for next week. We have b, e, t, beast, t, o, z, stove, o, s, t, slept, f, o, n, forms. And your two red words, caught, using. Then you've got your reading challenge at the bottom, seeing if you can sound out these alien words. Good luck with your new spellings.